This is my new Lego spaceship, the Falcon. Here it gets its name from its bird-like silhouette with wings, a nose, and a little tail on the back. Here it has two large engines and two open cockpit doors or windows. And the, the doors open up here and the roof comes off here and cargo bay doors open up on the back to unload equipment. So here we are. Here's a little lab thing in the air. It has a power crystal and a lever here and little clips for hold attaching weapons or um, lab equipment maybe. Put that back and shut the roof. So I'll close the doors again here. And there's enough, plenty of room to fit the satellite in cargo bay, at least when it's um, folded up. So I'll put this in here and put the roof back on. Here it is. So, and the doors open plenty wide to let the all the cargo out. So you can go and launch the satellite into space. So, its number one feature is its landing gear. Most of my ships don't have landing gear, mainly because they aren't large enough to have retractable landing gear, like this one. Go and they all fold up to create a nice, sleek lower hull. So, looks much nicer when flying around even if it isn't as functional or um, as nice as some of the other features in some of the other spaceships. And it might not be the most um, playable design because some of the wheels go and will fold, but that's alright when it has pressure except for the back wheel. So, I'll go and show you, take it apart and show you its landing gear functions. Here's a Lego spaceship, actually just the base plate with a cabin and some of my landing gear. So here, landing gear opens up and it folds up. So here it takes about one brick and two plates to cover up the landing gear, mainly. Or one square brick. So, over here, there's a little peak. You can fold it up here, but usually it's covered up. So this piece here pops up to work. It has a little lever. So it works in two functions. So here there's a um, Technic bin in with brick, up two by one brick with Technic bin holes. Usually it's covered up though. And here there's a three stud long beam. So here I'll just pop that off. I used um, two half beams, but you can just because I had those in black, but you can use whatever you have on hand. So I'll put this back on and put it back on the ship. Um, here I am. Here, this piece was attaches onto the wheel. So it folds up. So here it takes six plates, but six studs by three studs of space to do the landing. So it needs at least a four stud wide chip to hold it. So here it goes, and here there's a two by three plate with a one by two plate on top of it. So, and here there's Another 2x3 plate with one space in between it. And this goes here. So this little gap here holds it on. And, except when it goes back, it falls out a little bit. But usually it works when it's going like, when there's pressure on it. But actually, it's more sturdy when it's going backwards. So maybe the ship should be flying in reverse.